Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Today we're gonna draw the Martian Manhunter. Uh, it's a DC hero that, um, you know, if you don't, if you're not really familiar with the comics, then you might be familiar with the Justice League cartoon that was on TV, the uh, Bruce Tim one. He was in it prominently. Um, I thought he was pretty cool, although he keeps getting his butt kicked all the time. Anyways, before I start, though, take a look at our, our uh, this pencil case we saw on our website. We call it the Armadillo. Uh, you can put slide pencils in here very easily. Actually, this one's a little bigger than normal. But the point of it is, you fill this up with pencils, you can put it on your wrist, and you can kind of sketch wherever you want, having this guy on your wrist. I made it originally because I was uh, traveling everywhere. I, I really hated putting my pencils in my pocket and having them stab me as I sat down. Um, also, I kind of thought it just looked cool. So that's at armadillo.com. I'll put the website up here or down here or in the description. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, enough of that. So, enough of the promoting stuff. Let's get into the Martian Manhunter. I'm using a regular pencil. Uh, sharpen that thing. Um, doesn't matter what pencil you use, honestly. I really don't. This is a Polychromos Faber Castell, and I know I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. So, like I said, it's going to be a theme in these drawings. I'm going to be drawing headshots, kind of a like upper chest upward. I'm going to draw a circle here. Circle's going to represent the skull shape. I mean, that means without the jaw. Then I'm going to draw a line downward because he's going to be looking that way. I just like it. That way it's kind of a habit. And I'm going to put a line down here for the bottom of his jaw. I'm going to connect a line from this circle all the way down here to the bottom of his jaw. Make an even shape over here. Uh, pull his neck down, his neck down over here, kind of below his chin. Traps. He has a cape. It kind of pulls up. Same thing on this side, if you kind of go draw through the form so that it connects over here. And that's just the foundation right there. I'm going to split this up into thirds, although he's got a huge brow line. But that doesn't really make a difference. And that's actually not precisely thirds, but there we go. Anyways, that's going to be a foundation that I start with. That's going to be a little, ma a little map. Now I don't really have to worry so much about positioning as, as much, you know. You kind of still do, but not as much. Uh, I'm going to go into the eyes. And I'm actually going to draw him a little bit differently. Well, no. Nah. Let's see what happens. He's got a huge brow. He's got that kind of Neanderthal brow. One moment. He's got that big brow. His, his eyes tend to be kind of in shadow. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the almost same thing. I'm going to put his eyes majorly in shadow. I don't really like pop out. If anybody can recommend any cool Martian Manhunter comics, let me know in the comments, because I don't really know what to read in the comics for this guy. I mean, I know I liked him in Kingdom Come, but he wasn't really <laughs> around in Kingdom Come. He was kind of just like this uh, disabled dude. Going down to his nose, and I, I just, what I did right there, I traced out the shadow pattern. It's not really his eyes, it's just his brow line is casting a shadow onto his eyes, so I wanted to draw that. Cheekbone, going over here, trying to even it out. Nose. Cast shadow from his nose. Even upper lip has a cast shadow, you know, has a shadow. Lower lip. Mm 
bottom of his jaw. Right side of his jaw here. He has a regular ear. It's weird because a design like his, I would think he'd have like a pointed ear. Ear attached to the back of the jaw there. That's going to cast a shadow. His face is going to cast a shadow onto his neck. You know, his jaw is going to cast a shadow on his neck. Back of his cape over here. His cape attaches to the ball. Ball over here. Out of the cape, trying to separate it from the cast shadow that's already on his lower, you know, his neck. Maybe making it darker by making it, you know, making it darker might make it seem a little further back. This cape over here, remnants of it. Chest area. He has these two bands. It's not look like boobs. <laughs> I'll figure that out. Change that. Can't get rid of that. <laughs> Actually, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Draw the upper side of his head. Then I'm gonna go back here to his eyes and put these in the shadow. Give me kind of a film noir look. I'm gonna fill in all these shadow patterns that I mapped out. You can leave it at that, actually, to be honest. Let me see. I'm gonna add a couple more details. Some lines on his brow. I mean, on the top of his brow, yeah. Lines on the side of his face. That's too dark up there, I think. Yeah, that's that would be about it, actually. Uh, I'll leave it like that. That's a moody kind of Martian manhunter pretty quick. It's kind of like cheating because you don't really draw in the eye, you just draw the shadow that's, you know, submerged, the eye is submerged into, and you can kind of cheat it that way. Drawing out these shadow patterns is kind of a cheat, honestly. It's a good cheat, you know, it's not, there's nothing wrong, there's really no cheating per se. Uh, drawing, I guess there kind of is, but it's not a bad cheat. So anyways guys, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like. Please share these videos, and uh, I appreciate everything, you know, I appreciate you watching this video up to this point. Thanks a lot, guys, so much. See ya.